Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hopefully resolve the error you might be getting where it says the DNS server is not responding. So if you're experiencing network issues and you've already run the Windows Network Diagnostic Tool and you're seeing that the DNS server is not responding is the problem that is identified by the tool. Um, this tutorial will hopefully resolve this issue for you guys. So pretty straightforward here. We're going to start by right clicking on the start button and then we're going to go up to where it says command prompt and then in parentheses admin and you want to left click on that. If you receive a user account control window select yes. So now we want to start typing in our commands. So the first thing we're going to do is type in ipconfig space forward slash release and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done doing that, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash all and then hit enter on your keyboard again. Once you're done doing that, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and then hit enter on your keyboard again. Now you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew then hit enter on your keyboard once more. Now the last two commands we're going to run here. The first will be NETSH space INT space set space DNS. So it should read net SH space int space set space DNS. No spaces of course I'm just putting that in there so you guys know that they're not all one word. And Then you're going to hit enter and now we're going to type in our last command here NETSH space windsock space reset and then you're going to hit enter on your keyboard once again it'll say you must restart your computer in order to complete the reset at this point you can restart your computer and then hopefully your issue has been resolved so you can also if this does not work for you you can change your DNS settings or your DNS address to that of Google I've already made tutorials about that before, so you can check out my channel for that. I might have a card playing in the video to a video that shows about how to do that. But I think for the purpose of this tutorial, it's pretty much done for. And I hope I was able to help you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.